Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to Super Obvious. I'm B Diz the Rockstar, and in this video, we're going to talk about WWE. There's a bunch of wrestlers that are unhappy with the company and they want to release, more than likely to go to AEW, which is called All Elite Wrestling. You guys should know what All Elite Wrestling is by now, guys. But yeah, let's talk about the wrestlers, why they could be unhappy. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Totally for sure. If you did not know about AEW, some stars so far include Cody Rhodes, The Young Bucks, Adam Page, Pac, Chris Jericho, Kenny Omega, and more. There are a few wrestlers who are rumored to leave WWE for AEW. The first wrestler we're going to talk about is Dean Ambrose. He probably has the biggest buzz out of all superstars who could go to All Elite Wrestling or just leave the company. He went from backstabbing Seth Rollins right after they won the Raw Tag Team titles. Earlier that night, Roman Reigns had to relinquish the Universal Championship because of his health condition. Later on, there is a promo that happened recently between Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Triple H, where Triple H is having a heated conversation with Dean Ambrose about the things that he's done lately. Dean went from winning the Intercontinental Championship to having vaccine shots in his butt and coming out wearing a gas mask because he doesn't like the people and their germs. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Wow. Oh yeah, don't forget he lost the belt to Bobby Lashley. And now there is the hint of him vs Nia Jax in an intergender match coming up. He's supposed to leave WWE after WrestleMania. I've heard he was offered $5 million for a 5 year deal, and as far as I know he has refused the offer. I'm not sure what I would suggest for Dean because his character on the show has lost a lot of momentum since his heel turn. I don't know if Dean will get a better deal than that anywhere else. $5 million for 5 years. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Next we're going to talk about The Revival, Sasha Banks, and Zack Ryder. I'm putting all these stars together because they are all in a group of people who are rumored to be unhappy with their role in WWE and want to be released from the company. The Revival has been pretty open with how unhappy they are in WWE. Not long after them asking for the release, they just happened to get a push and now they're in the tag team division going against Bobby Roode and Chad Gable. But not that great though because they're still losing these matches with these dumb ass finishes, oh my god! Next we have Sasha Banks who have been rumored to want to leave WWE. And out of nowhere, she gets a Raw Women's Championship match against Ronda Rousey at Royal Rumble. She did not win the belt or the match, but it was a push. We also have Zack Ryder. He went from winning the Intercontinental Championship to losing it the very next night. That's pretty freaking lame dude. And he was in a group called the Hype Bros, but he was the reason why the team had lost so much, his partner wound up turning on him and beating his ass! Oh yeah, that was the thing, that happened. Now for Zack Ryder's push, he has teamed up with a previous tag team member, Kurt Hawkins. Kurt Hawkins has a record of over 200 straight losses. His record kinda sort of really, really, really times a million sucks. Good for you guys. WWE could be listening to their superstars more now. The Revival, Sasha Banks, and Zack Ryder, who had all wanted to possibly leave the company, all got their pushes at the same time out of nowhere. If you think that's a coincidence, then you are a stupid idiot. STUPID IDIOT! Stupid idiot. Alright, next we're going over some additional rumors of who could leave WWE for AEW. First, we have Dolph Ziggler. I've always liked Dolph Ziggler. I think he is great in the ring and on the mic. Dolph is probably one of the biggest stars that, in my opinion, still hasn't gotten to the level he really deserves. He has done great work with the material he has given. Like when his gimmick was to mock the other gimmicks of previous legend wrestlers, such as Shawn Michaels, Ultimate Warrior, and DX. I don't know how you guys felt. I thought that shit was pretty freaking funny. We're also going to talk about Randy Orton. This one I've heard recently. In my opinion, this rumor is unlikely to be true. Randy Orton has been a part of the WWE for so long, I don't see him leaving to go to another promotion. His character is used great, and his presence on screen is awesome. If Orton was unhappy and really considering leaving, I wouldn't believe it till I seen it. But yeah, here are some of the WWE wrestlers who may leave for All Elite Wrestling. I plan on doing a video more in depth about AEW, so be on the lookout. Please like comment, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.